गाइज एंड वेलकम टू योर डेली प्रोडिक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ फोर्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर यू आई आई होप यू वॉच द वीडियो ऑफ थर्ड ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एंड इफ नॉट इट इज इन द डेली गाइडेंस कीप योर इन इज बैलेंस्ड देर विल बी लाइक समबडी इज गोइंग टू फेस द हीट और फील द हीट टूडे एंड यू नीड टू बी यू नो बी ऑन द स्टैंड लाइक टेक योर टेक योर स्टैंड बी बी स्टक टू यू स्टिक टू योर ग्राउंड दैट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर द एनर्जीज द वे आई लुक एट द एनर्जीज दे आर अ लिटिल कन्फ्यूजिंग एंड लिटिल इल्यूजन क्रिएटिंग एनर्जीज बट एट द सेम टाइम येस यू विल हैव द एबिलिटी टू मूव फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम दैम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू सी दिस कार्ड दिस पर्सन इज हर्ट एंड ही इज यूज using his hurt leg to move forward uh, he has a, a bell in his uh, around his neck which means he can actually raise a voice or he can actually make a sound to get the help this person another person who is with him she is not bothered about him she is not looking at him she is also hurt but she is not helping him she is on her own path on her own journey and he is on his own journey and he is hurt in his head also and uh, first of all with this card i can uh, first message that comes across is take care of your health uh, take care of your health that's going to be very important on 4th of september take care of your physical health uh, your emotional health and and also know that you know health help is available there is a church here there there are lights here there is warmth here because this is snowing they can actually go in here but they will have to take that step to actually walk inside this door and uh, that is what it is so the help is, is available the help will be available people will will be available things will be available but you will have to take help you will have to take that step to take the help second because he's walking with the leg that is already hurt don't hurt yourself further like this could mean that you are already hurt and you are actually further hurting yourself don't hurt yourself further and uh, yes you have an ability to raise an alarm raise an alarm raise a voice for anything that is happening for anything that you are um, you know you you need somebody's attention or you need the care you need the support or anything but raise an alarm but yes and sure that um you will get the help if you ask for it and don't uh, kind of hurt yourself further second if you if you have somebody around you i know there's a possibility that you yourself are feeling hurt but if you have somebody around you who you can help please help that person don't ignore to help somebody okay so you have to be in that energy where you ask for help and where you help others it is going to be very very important and divine is there so don't don't doubt divine don't think that divine is not uh, listening divine is not seeing there is divine uh, Uh, that is available that seeing everything that is listening everything but at times we need to learn um, the second card if you see here the same green cloth is here also this these two people are st- sitting here they are asking for money from this person but this person has weighing scales in his hand right my daughter is around so you can hear her voice um this person has weighing scales in his hand and he is aware who needs how much or who is who is actually n- into the actual need because he's he has the weighing scales so he knows what to give to whom so this is uh, this is on the face of it we might think that you know he's giving everything to this female and he's not giving anything to this person but at the same time this is because he has weighing scales so uh, divine knows who uh, actually deserves what who needs what and what is to be given to whom at what time so just wish believe and have faith that divine is there have faith that you you will get what you deserve and also you also have to be into that energy where you don't get emotional and do things that you should not be doing you you also have to be sure that you you don't get into that energy where um, you end up giving or end up doing something that you should not be doing because you are not judging correctly or you are not thinking correctly or you are not uh, kind of evaluating correctly so what is right will happen and whatever help or support you need is going to come to you so just believe in that um, the third card that i got again is uh, eight of swords and if you see she is against into a stuck energy this could also uh, show like the body aches or body pains but this also is a stuck energy but if you see clearly um her mouth is open she can actually make a noise there is a there is a building here right behind uh, there the swords are around her the swords are not behind her the swords are not in front of her so she has the ability to actually make a sound and uh, get the help that she needs also if you see the rope that she tied with or the cloth that she tied with it is not very tight she has the ability to actually remove it or move it or actually open her hands and then open her eyes but she is not using that ability she is feeling she's given up basically she is into that illusion that she is stuck she is into the cage uh, because she can feel the swords around her 
but she's completely given up so don't give up on anything the energy is such that you don't have to be blindfolded you don't have to give up on anything uh, take care of your health again i'm saying that raise an alarm if needed uh, ask for help if needed uh, but divine is around divine is there to help and don't give up giving up is no solution at all um, the last card that i have is number seven it says seven of cups and if you see there are uh, seven cups here and there are illusions that are being created so there is a tower there is money there is a tiara here and there is a skull in that um, actually the, the tiara is nothing but a skull basically there is a negative energy there is a dragon here there is a face here if you see here there is kind of a soul coming out or a or a or a ghost coming out um there's a snake here so these are cups which are illusions which are basically illusion based and this card at, at times also show dreams right dreams fulfillment or dreams so prioritize your life don't get into illusions pay attention to your dreams and maybe there are messages that are coming your way but if you get into illusions you will not be able to see those messages clearly so today if possible avoid all kind of illusions because all the cards were you know into the similar energy and if you see there was five there was six there is seven there is eight so there was a secret also i wanted to take out a few more cards just to give you a little relief that energies are not negative i wanted to clarify from the angels so when i asked for clarification the cards that i got is nine and one and if you if you if you can just see the sequencing there is five there is six there is seven there is eight there is nine and then there is one which is like a number in ten basically because um, there's a zero with one right so um, there is a sequencing but yes there the sequence of event might not be exactly exactly appropriate because we you see there is five there is six there is eight and then something goes backward and then there is a seven where is where there is illusion created and then after seven there comes nine where there is actually the clarity wish fulfillment you are able to see things clearly you are able to move forward with things clearly and then there is a ace of wands divine hand which actually comes back comes out with more growth with clarity with positivity with passion uh, take care of your stomach health health is something that i kind of see as an issue but again the cards are such that if you are if you don't get into illusion if you know your ability if you know what is right what is not you will be able to move towards something better and that's that's definitely definitely clear but take care of your health prioritize well and uh, pay attention to your dreams i want to take out those two surrender cards and the cards that i got are extremely wonderful because the first card says surrender to success it says you are ready to experience abundance don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties leap into an exciting new world of possibilities and yes there will be a thought of difficulties or roadblocks that will be there but don't get into that second card is surrender to the magic of who you are we all have magic in us even in mundane aspects of life remember that you are a magical being with uniqueness and worth that comes just from being you and or th that comes from just being you and uh, that is why you have to believe in yourself there is a horse here there's a white horse here if you can see um so believe in yourself know who you are believe in your magic and you will see things happening in a more more positive way success will come ultimately there are two cards uh, that show that success will come but the day will be where you feel a little stuck where you li feel you feel a little problematic or illusion into the illusions take care of your health uh, the next set of cards i got uh, these are uh, the radiant or uh, um, right away deck this is uh, the power to surrender cards and this is the dragon wisdom cards and the first card is air chalice and if you remember uh, if you understand air is an element which is very difficult to be controlled air is element uh, that flows and that is very necessary for life and air is also um, air, is, air is also um, air is also um, used as communication or taken as communication or your uh, intellectual intellectual thinking so ensure that you are, you uh, you communicate wisely today you communicate with nice words today and also there is going to be something in the air so um, the air will probably bring in more clarity maybe the air will pro bring in more uh, betterment and uh, just just ensure that you believe in what what is happening around you and believe in yourself avalon is the card of being a warrior um you know taking that war forward taking that stand forward taking that fight forward so you are a warrior who can fight with wisdom you are a warrior who has the abilities fight with wisdom believe in yourself and move forward the next card that i got is the revelation and the card next to that was death 
and uh, this is the card which says that um, this is an elf and elf uh, they they have an ability to see the future they have an ability to go beyond what is see what, what our people our our eyes can see they have the ability to see beyond death right so death is something that is inevitable and we should all accept the uh, it as inevitable the endings as inevitable but every ending has a new beginning and uh, there is some revelation that is coming ahead with regards to death but uh, at the same time you will have to ensure that um, you think with wisdom you get rid of this fear that you have in your mind any fear and any ending any ending is going to bring in new revelation or uh, new beginning for you so just believe in that uh, the next card that i got is from power of wisdom tarot deck and it is chop wood and chop wood is a card which says that uh number 6 card it says that get indulged into positivity into your day to day activities into your normal routine activities and don't worry much don't think much and that is that is actually needed today because whatever is going to come that is going to be in the air that will come out and you don't have to be worry mu worrying much you don't have to be thinking much you don't have to be um uh, you know getting into that energy of being stuck into illusions rather if you have a clear focus you will see things becoming clear um i'm going to take out one extra card that i always take out for you guys and this is from the lovers path tarot deck uh, let's see what is the message let's see what is the message okay mm, there is one card that has fallen off and i want to take one more and then i will sorry if you is around so you will hear her voice uh, guys in just 4th of september what do we need to know yes. Okay, so the two cards we have, both are the money cards, and uh, the two cards we have is are the exact cards that are here, five and six of pentacle, and uh, this is strange that the same cards uh, are getting repeated. And if you see in this card, there is a female who is taking her child away and trying to save her child. Uh, from uh, the snow that is kind of um, you know falling uh, falling and there are a lot of uh, pentacles uh, the five pentacles around her and um, it is that she has taken the responsibility though she is sad though she is into a problem she understand there is a problem but she has taken the responsibility and she is moving forward with the responsibility and if you see the next card um, it is it feels like there is a uh, probably the same female who has found a place because there is snow outside if you see there is snow outside she's found a place and she's getting all the help and support that she needed right so um definitely uh, if you ask for help if you ask for support and the scenery is almost the same where she is and where this this is outside right so uh, when you ask for support when you ask for help you will get all the help you will get all the support you will get all that you deserve you will get all and there will be people to help you there will be people to give you everything that you need um, the only thing is you need to have faith in yourself have belief in yourself and ask for what you need i'm going to take out one more card from here and then um, i'll close this video uh, guides angels any anything okay this is number 13 this is death so we we are seeing the death card again right transformation this is a card of death um this is a card of six of uh, swords six of arrows this is illusions this is moon card this is prince of wands and this is two of wands okay so basically these cards are saying that there is a transformation that is happening there are changes that are happening and uh, usually death uh, if it needs to it takes the person away but uh, that doesn't mean that things don't move forward right there is a journey that starts from there as well so uh, this person probably has given up on this person or she has given up on him and then uh, she is moving towards her new journey so if there is anything that is ending in your life that is take it as transformation it is transform it is taking you towards a new journey don't get into illusions again i feel that uh, there is an energy of illusions which is seven of cups don't get into illusions believe in yourself believe in your vision if you see you can uh, this person uh, is looking at 
the swan into a very very different way like you know there is a face there is a nose there is a it is all like all illusion right and uh, um, so don't get into illusions believe in yourself believe in your abilities believe that you have an ability to see things clearly and when you believe you will be able to see things clearly he has a all seeing crystal and he can actually see things very very clearly so um, believe in your ability you will be able to see things clearly you will be able to move move clearly and there is uh, that energy of death that's kind of uh, into the cards but again this is transformation or this is only revelation so this is only how you take things and move forward so thank you so much take care of yourself hope uh, the day brings good energies to you take care of your health i will again say take care of your health okay thank you so much bye bye